Space Sims, and welcome to our new game! As you can tell from the title and the thumbnail, and, you know, where we are now, I'm just going to click around because I don't want it to go to the opening theme because it's wicked copyrighted and, like, bitch, I can't do that. Anyway, uh, Variable Barricade, we... I've had this for a while! I got this before I moved, and now I've moved! And anyway, we had other games that we were playing, um, and here we are, so... I'm actually going to just hold on. I already accidentally clicked in here and like I did change her name, but it didn't go back. So hold on. I'm going to read you the thing about the story. Um, and we'll go through the normal standard talky stuffy thingies. If you are new here, uh, I always change. <laughs> if you're new here, hi, welcome. Um, couple things first. We don't play with the voice acting on. I do shitty voice acting. If you're not here for that, fine. You can go. You don't need to, like, whine and cry about it. Um, I only say that bitchy because there's so many people. Oh, you don't play with the voice acting. Oh, voice acting is so shitty. Uh, yeah, my voice acting is terrible. Um, but that's what we do here. We do terrible voice acting. And we don't actually have the real voice act heading on until the end and then we realize how shit I am at this which you know um we do that primarily because I know a majority of my audience likes to multitask so they're just listening along as they're doing shit and that's why we do this I will also tell you when their CG is like oh hey there's a CG so that you know to look up if you're multitasking so I am here for you <laughs> anyway um I always forget to kind of say things like that, and I'll say it halfway through. Oh, if you're new, we don't do that. Because a lot of people want to watch the game with the voice acting. We also talk a lot. So if you just want to, like, I just want to read the game, and I don't want your commentary, and I don't want your voice acting, buy the goddamn game yourself and play it yourself. Don't watch YouTube videos. Seriously, support the developers. Buy the fucking games. Um, because that's how we get more games localized, is more people buying them. So, uh, there you go. Um, we're also here for people who've already played the game and then go, Oh, I want to see your terrible voice acting and what you're thinking when shit happens. Because, you know, if you've played the game, meh. Also, I spoil things. Um, not on purpose. But every time we play games, I'm like, this is this! Is this what's happening? And then that shit happens. Are we dead? We're probably dead. And then we're dead. Uh, <laughs> things like that. Um... I do know, and also, I did get this feedback that every once in a while, I, well, I know I do. I talk about the games that we have played previously, because for some reason in my brain, I just assume you were there with me. You were all with me. You've played all the games with me in the time that I have played it. Not, I, you might watch this, and then you might go back to an older one. So I do apologize if I spoil other games that you maybe have not played. Uh, that I will try in my brain to not do. But it's going to take me a while, so be patient with me, because it's one of those things that's like, oh, I've been doing this for years, and oh, yeah, that's a valid point, and I'm sorry if I've ruined games for you. So, I apologize for that. I'll apologize in advance if I do it, and I will try not to do it, but there you go. Anyway, um, let's read about this game, because I don't know. I buy them all, and then I'm like, I don't know what's going on. So anyway, um, I am using, we will be using Atome Kitten's Guides. I always use a guide so that we get the best ending, and I'll also be following her advice on uh, route order and stuff like that. But anyway, this is from her um, review and info page thing. So anyway, a member of a prestigious family and heir to a fortune, Spacey, not Hibari, Spacey, learns that her eccentric grandfather is determined to find her a husband. Oh, fun. He arranges to house her in a luxurious villa along with four handsome hand-picked bachelors and her private butler. As her suitors try to win her hand by any means necessary, Hibari endures endless everyday trials and temptations. Oh, oh my god, this is going to be fun. Has her grandpa chosen poorly, or could there be more to these fellows than first meets the eye? I don't know, they're all pretty pretty, but... Uh, through all of this, Spacey has two important goals. Frighten off each of these marriage candidates and absolutely refuse to fall in love. And yet we're going to fall in love. Spoiler. I mean, obviously, that's the point. Uh, so I kind of enjoy this because it seems like she's going to be sassy and bitchy to them. And I'm here for that because I'm never like you will hear me complain in every fucking game we play about like, I really hate the goddamn fainting bullets. Oh, we've been married for six years and he looked at me and I've got to blush and faint and die. Bitch, you've had sex with him a million times and you have four fucking kids. Stop it. 
Okay. I hate that so much. I hate it. I know. I know. I know why they do it, whatever, but it drives me bonkers because like, I'm going to need you to fucking hike up your tits and woman up. Okay. So I really like it when they're spunky, sassy, and a little bit of an asshole. So I'm here for this. I'm hoping that we're going to be a little bit of a bitch because we need that. So anyway, I'm not going to go through the art and music or anything like that. Um, when we get into each route, I do like to tell you who the voice actor is for the actual character. And then we go through and be like, they were this person and this person. And I laugh about it. But I will say, because I did look at it in advance. One of the fucking side characters, not even a main character, is fucking Azul and Twisted Wonderland. And bitch, I'm here for it. I love him so much. Okay, that was just my little Twisted Wonderland fucking freak out because I play that like a motherfucker. Ooh, I didn't play it yet today. Go back. I didn't do my daily things. Anyway, um, <laughs> anyway, I love it. And Azul is my fucking favorite. So it's just really funny that his voice actor is in this because like I haven't, I don't, I've never, I don't know if I've seen anything else he's been in. And a lot of the voice actors in Twisted Wonderland seem to be like stage actors. There are some like, that I'm like, oh yeah, okay, I know them. Um, but other ones, I'm like, I've never heard of them. It's because, and they're like, this is all the stuff they've been in either maybe anime or shows that I've never watched, but it's all like stage plays or like actual, like live action kind of things. And you're like, oh, that's interesting. So I don't know if I've ever seen him in anything else. I don't, I can't recall. There was nothing, there was no connection in my head where I was like, oh, okay. These things. No, but now he's in this. And I was like, that's amazing. I just, anyway, I just want to throw that out there. So, um, the true end is locked, which they say, which Atome Kitten, Atome Kitten says is more of our story. The romance mouths can be played at at the start. I think it's safe to kick off the game with either Nayuta or Shion, followed by Taiga and then Ichi alas, since his story has the most spoilers. If you're concerned about having the best story flow, she suggests Nayuta, Shion, Taiga, Ichi, and then the true end. So, okay. And here's the thing. So that's what we'll do. Um, we're going to go through the common route. Okay, so I'm going to pop open our common route walkthrough. And then... Yes, yeah, so that's what Atome Kitten has is basically the background of the... What's on the back of the game case. So anyway, um, let's see. I mean, I'm getting through a flowchart. Oh, God. Oh, flowcharts kill me. Uh... What's a rabbi? You'll be navigating through a flowchart, a.k.a. barricade board, during your entire playthrough. It's R-A-B-I, all caps. Prompts are pretty random. Be sure to always check whenever it appears. Some rabbi seems a little... I wonder if that's like uh, in Pio Fiore. Okay, I'm not spoiling anything here. There was like... There'd be like a little pop-up in the top corner. Like a side scene. Or like a happening at the same time kind of a thing. And then you click it and it's like, oh, let's go over here. And then you see... I wonder if it's something like that. So, well, we'll pay attention. Uh, X to view... Oh, thank God she's got it on there. X to view the rabbi board. Y to view the... W-H-I-S messages and left and right to view switchboards. What the fuck? I'm so confused. We need to play the common route. Okay. Soft recommended order. But anyway. Oh, we have to make a save right off the bat. Anyway. So, by the way, with the voice acting, I know we're on the main screen here. So, oh, whoops. Erase that. Um... Oh, A is not. Okay, I was like, how do I? No, wait. Okay, but like. Oh, is that? Oh, okay. Okay. Um, sorry. Yeah, no, my capture card's a piece of shit, by the way. And lately, it has been deciding to restart to record. And then it's like, fuck you. And it just black screens and it disconnects and it doesn't. So... Yeah, I don't, I need a new one, but I just, mm, so I'm sorry that's going to happen randomly, but usually I can, I see it and I can tell that it just black screen. So anyway, yeah, I couldn't figure out, I thought select for some reason. Okay. Anyway, I'm an idiot. So I just, uh, the controls and things, and I don't remember which buttons are which. So like, yeah. Are you finished naming? Yes. Uh, so with the voice acting, um, I have standard voices that I do if you're new here, everybody else. Uh, I don't know which voices to give these guys because none of them fit any of the fucking voices I have. I, well, Nayuta does. But, like, I know the voice that Taiga should have in my head. I see it. I, I know what he has. I know the voice he has. Okay, I'm like, yes. But I can't do that voice. So I'm like, do you give, like, like this doesn't work, this doesn't. So I'm really tempted with him just because he kind of looks like 
the cold kind of bitchy character to just give him like either the fucking Lupin treatment or the Irish accent. Like, I don't know. Cause it ain't going to work and it's going to look ridiculous. He's going to be ridiculous, but so I might mess around when we first see characters and throw some voices out there and mess around because I don't really know. Usually I look at the cards. I look at the game thing and I'm like, you've got this one, this one, this one I play. And that's how we go. It's what the vibe they give me when I look at them. But like none of them. Well, Shion kind of gives me like, I, I, the voice for him is like the little softer voice, which I think could work. But like, I mean, the Lupin voice and the fucking Irish accent are my two most distinct, easy to do voices for me. And another one, none of these bitches have it. And I'm so mad. Like, God. The really terrible Irish accent. Anyway. A young lady from a wealthy family always seeks a man of suitably high status to be her husband. <gasps> read when we read. I suspect that's a universal truth. I certainly believed it. In other words... Since I was only the only heir to, to the wealthy and influential to, Tojo family, I can read, I swear. It was expected that one day I would take a similarly wealthy man as my husband. That was my lot, and I wasn't especially dissatisfied with it. I'd come to terms a long time ago. And yet... And also... <laughs> I love their shadows. How did this happen? Um... She's actually voiced, which is kind of interesting, because, like, a lot of MCs aren't voiced, but obviously we have the voice acting officer, so we're not going to hear it. I personally don't like voiced MCs, because it's like, no, this is me, I'm putting it in, and I'm falling on their my man hammer. This is, this is, oh, no, 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 we can't skip this. Oh, my God, hold on. Oh, God, I have to turn the voice, I have to turn the thing off. No, I can't. Why can't I skip this? Stop it! So I turned it down and hopefully I don't get like, because there is nothing worse than doing this, putting it up and then being like banned. You can't put this up. Like most of the time it's just, they take any kind of monetization, but it's like, I can't afford that. I need the 14 cents I'm going to get from this. Thanks. Not even, but like lately all of the color X malice ones are getting pinged because there's like a song in the background, like just the background music. That's obviously and they're like, Oh, Nope, all your mind. And I'm like, uh -huh, stop it. Stop it. I can't. Uh, I don't make enough in a year to pay off this channel to pay for the Atomic games that I buy. So like, it's not like I make any money off this channel, but it's like, I just, I need every 14 cents that I get. Thanks. I need every penny. Cause like, so if you could stop taking it. So like, we can't do these songs. Plus a lot of them. Sometimes I've had instances where the main theme is copyrighted to the point where they, you won't, can't even put up the video. They take it down. And it's like, I have to go take it down, re-edit it, take it out. So I just turn it off when we do that. But like, usually you can just skip it. But this one is like, go fuck yourself. But I mean, at least you got to see the intro. Hopefully you couldn't hear it. So thanks for that. Now I got to adjust my volume again. It's very quiet in the background, but that's because anyway. September 1st, 7 a.m. Tojo Family Estate. The Tojo card. <laughs> Sorry. I just need to get it out there. There's going to be so much Yakuza shit in my head now because of this. <laughs> like, really? Is this the same universe? Or we where's Majima? <laughs> Seriously, where's Majima? <laughs> Is he my servant? Can he be my butler? I'm, I'm sorry. I can't marry any of you. Go on with Majima. <laughs> I'm not done. I'm sorry. But anyway. Pardon me. I don't know what the servant looks like, so. Good morning, Miss Spacey. Good morning. I've prepared your school bag. Is there anything else you require? No, that'll be all. Thank you. I don't know if it's a lady servant or a dude. Ever okay, look. If I assume the character is a woman, it's always, it's like, oh, he said this. And I'm like, God damn it. And if I assume the character's a man, it's always a woman. So. I had some extra materials to take with me to school, likely because it was the first day of a new semester. I'm assuming we're in college. Hold on. The cards that came with the game. All of the dudes are between 20 and 26. I looked at the back. We are... Oh my... What? No. Oh, no. Oh, mm-mm. Uh-uh. On fire. Nope. 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 I'm noping out. I'm done. Uh-uh. We're fucking 17. Uh-huh. And then our lolly boy's 20. And then we got Ichu's 26. Taiga's 23. And Shion's 22. I'm sorry. We're 17 and he's 20. That's disgusting. Fuck you, game. You're already pissing me off. 
All right. I'm just going to get that out there. We're just going to pretend in my head we're not in fucking high school because that's disgusting. I hate it when games do this. It's kind of like when we're like 20 and then we have like a 42 year old love interest. I'm just, that's gross. And look, I know that there's some people that complain. Well, age, no, 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 no. There's a problem with that. Sorry. Like, and I don't want to be 17. 17 and 20 is like still weird. It's only a couple year age different, but like 20s. No. Could we have at least been like in college? Could we at least been like 19 or some bullshit? Like 17. Hmm. I should not have looked at that. I should not have looked at that because that is going to unsettle me. And that's going to be right now negative points to the game for that because that creeps me the fuck out. I don't like it. I don't mind if we're playing a high school character and we're dating high school kids. But like we're playing a high school girl and we're going to marry a man who's almost 30. Ew. There's something seriously fucking wrong with that. Stop it. This is not the last time it's going to come up. And every time they mention high school, high school, high school, I'm 17, I'm 17, which they're going to do 3,000 times. I'm going to go on this rant. Just be prepared. We're starting off on a great foot here. Anyway. <sighs> I had some, she doesn't also look 17. She's got the eyes of like a 25 year old who has like over this fucking shit. She's like, no, fuck this. I'm done. Sued. <laughs> like. She kind of has, like, bitchy lawyer face. So I'm, like, disappointed that she's 17. Mm, it's creepy. Anyway. I had some extra materials to take with me to school, likely because it was the first day of a new semester. Glancing sidelong at the pile, I nonchalantly asked the servant a question. Would you happen to know where Kasuga is? Kasuga. Oh, yeah, Kasuga is... <gasps> Kasuga is Azul, I think. <laughs> Wait, let me go back. <sighs> Uh, is Kasuga our butler? Oh, can we marry our butler? Stop it. He better be handsome. He probably doesn't have a fucking sprite. He's got a voice, though. He is preparing the car, miss. I'm sure he'll be here before long. I thought I heard a hint of indulgent patience in his voice, like an adult reassuring a petulant child. She's really pretty, though. His pleasant gaze made me feel a little awkward, so I casually looked away. Oh, uh, is that right? That's good, then. You may go now. Understood, miss. Please excuse me. How long does he intend to make me wait? After I made sure to be ready early, too. I glared at the door and sighed impatiently. Pardon me. If he has a sprite, then we have to judge his voice based on the sprite. <laughs> oh my god, I love him. Why can't we date him? He's kind of adorable. Like, this is our butler? Like, I'm sorry. Is your hair allowed to be like that? But, like, I don't care. Damn it. Um, I don't have a voice for him either. He's just gonna have a normal voice for now. We'll figure it out as we go, okay? <sighs> anyway, Kasuga. I tamped down the urge to snap, you're late, and kept my expression calm as I greeted him. We're kind of bitchy. I kind of like it. Like... <laughs> Good morning, Miss Spacey. Am I correct in assuming you're ready to leave? Okay, that could work for him. Okay, well, we'll work with that for now. I am. Is it time already? It's just kind of a normy voice, so. Ah! I love him. Stop it. Why can't we date our butler? Okay, look. We've played the Dogenzaka Labs. Was it? It was a Dogenzaka Labs, my butler game. Was that what it? I don't know. And it's just one of those. We need, like, good ones. I'm pretty sure that was a mixed review. It was... <laughs> if you're new here, we have a series, Mixed Reviews, where we play really fucking bad games on purpose for the train wreck and knowing that they're going to be terrible and they drive me insane with how bad they are. But anyway, that's why we do it. And, uh, but, like, it just really spurred to me, like, I want a butler game. We need more butler games. Why are there no games where we can date more butlers? Why is that not a thing? I'm going to... Or why can we not localize them? But so... Black Butler didn't help me with the Butler fetish, okay? Because that was like one. I think that started like, what? Hi, you're hot. And you sound like Dice Kayono. <laughs> anyway, I love him. He also sounds like Azul. <laughs> I have too much fun knowing that in my head. Anyway, not quite, miss. You have a few minutes before it's time to depart. <laughs> Chuckle. <laughs> this is bad. Anyway, hmm? 
You seem quite enthusiastic this morning. Are you that excited to return to school and see your friends? God, I love you. Stop it. Look, he's he's beautiful, though. Why are you hiding your eye? Oh, my God. Do you have heterochromia? <gasps> you couldn't be hotter if you had glasses. Not particularly, no. The look on her face is like, I don't have friends because I'm kind of a bitch. I like that, though. Oh, is that so? Well, then, it seems I'm more beloved by you than I previously thought, Miss Spacey. I mean, yeah. What? I really hope in the true route we get to marry this motherfucker. We're like, we married all these men, and then it's like, in the true route, the route about me is because I'm in love with my butler. <gasps> Game, please. Nobody spoil it for me if that's the case. Maybe you should spoil it for me and be like, that's not the case. You know what? Don't. Don't tell me either way. Let me be disappointed when we get to the end and be like, 9 out of 10, the game would have been a 10 if we could have dated our butler. Anyway. I'm deeply moved that you deliberately set aside time to speak with me, even though we only have a few precious minutes before you're off to school. Don't flatter yourself. I only happen to be ready particularly early. It's pure coincidence. I don't know. Now I'm starting to wonder. Oh? I stand corrected, miss. I beg your pardon. Kasuga's eyes slid away from mine, and I could tell he was hiding a smile. Maybe he should have the Lupin voice. <gasps> Let's try it. Hmm. What's with that smug know-it-all look? Because he seems a little flirty. So, like, let's try it. Let's see what... Oh, we're not going to have any voices with him now. Great. Why am I so upset, you ask? Well, my problem started right before the beginning of summer vacation. All right. Let's try to give him the Lupin tribute. What? You're going to study abroad? Ahem. <clears throat> to get into the habit. Okay. Indeed, miss. I wish to learn more about buttling. Buttling? Buttling? Is that buttlering? Whatever. So I'll attend a specialized academy in England. No, it's not working for me. England? But why now? You've served as my personal butler for almost eight years. And that's precisely why, miss. I must strive to improve my skills as a butler so that I'm ready to serve you at my very best when you come of age. It's not working for me. We're going to go back to the other one. I was going to try. Well, let's try the Irish one, too. <laughs> You're never going to know who's who, because the voices are going to change throughout the first, like, couple of hours, but... Well, well I think your skills are perfectly competent now. <clears throat> let's try the Irish one on him. You flatter me. However, I'm still a novice, and there's the matter of what others may think. A little extra prestige will do no harm. That could work. It's a short, intensive study course, miss. I'll be gone the month of your holiday, and no longer. Sadly, I'll not be able to accompany you on your holiday trip. Still, I shall see to it that you won't want for anything. Alright, this could work. This could work. Because that accent doesn't work for anybody else in the game. So... I kind of want to give Taiga the loop and voice, just because it definitely does not fit him, and it's just so wrong. Okay, I think... Kasuga's gonna keep the uh I think we're gonna we're gonna keep him with the Irish. I think it'll work for him anyway. If you weren't here, I'm not going anywhere. Please, miss, don't be that way. And there are several servants who arrange to take their own holidays whilst you're away. Who arranged, sorry. Might I beg your indulgence in this matter? As if you'll listen to me if I say no. Well then. Okay, fine, go already! I feel like we love him. <laughs> I'm like, uh, maybe because I love him, but... Because it's like, why would our butler not be a fucking love interest? Thanks to him informing me of his imminent departure, only after it was a done deal, I spent my summer vacation almost entirely alone. Just thinking about it made me want to grind my teeth. If I didn't do something to vent my irritation, I was sure I would pop. I fixed Kasuga with what I hoped was a withering glare and said... I was highly inconvenienced while you were absent, Kas Kasuga. Kasuga? 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 I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but whatever. Oh, please accept my humblest apologies, miss. I had trouble getting in touch with you, too. Yet for some odd reason, you didn't seem to have any problems hearing about me. I'm afraid my studies kept me quite busy. But I did try to do what little I could to stay up to date on how well you were doing, Miss Spacey. You're finally home after gallivanting all summer, but it's the last day of my vacation and it's late at night. I hardly get to say hello before it's lights out. Yeah, she's like really upset that he wasn't here for a moment. I don't... Is she just really like, I'm inconvenienced because my servant was not here. You have other servants. 
or highly convenienced because I love looking at you and I'm in love with you and then you left me. Because I don't know, that's the vibe I'm getting, but maybe because that's the way I want it to be. It is exceedingly important for your health that you get an adequate amount of sleep every night, miss. I'd prefer for my feelings to have priority over my schedule every so often. Venting my irritation left me too exhausted to give voice to my innermost thoughts. Kasuga had been my personal butler for eight years. His trip to England marked the longest span of time the two of us had ever been separated. This is like childhood lovers thing, because like, eight years, we were like nine. Right, can I do math? Yeah. We were like nine to ten-ish, because I'm just going to pretend we're like two days away from being 18, so it's not creepy to me. It's still a little creepy, but like, whatever, not as bad. But like, you know what I mean? Like, we were a child and he came out. How old is he? Was he like a child butler? Let's just not talk about ages because it's going to just make me angry. But like, you know, like he was our personal butler for like eight. We were a, we were like a child. So like we grew up knowing like that's kind of cute. But also a little weird. Unless he was like, I am like 12 and I am a butler now. Like, I mean, I don't know. It's supposed to be modern day, but we got some Downton Abbey shit going on here. I wish that he, that someone had taken that small fact into consideration. It seems my absence left you feeling lonely, miss. I apologize profusely for that. As soon as I returned, I aimed to make myself useful to you. I immediately busied myself finding out what had happened whilst I was gone, and... No, I'm making excuses. It's clear I failed you. Miss, I vow I'll do my utmost to improve myself. I beg your forgiveness. I love him. He's so precious. Stop it. Stop it. He's not even someone we get to date. Uh -huh. Unless maybe, maybe. Cross my fingers. <laughs> this is me. I ruin things. Do we get to marry him in the true ending? <laughs> if that's the case, I'm going to be really happy because I love him. So, Kasuga stood there waiting for me to say something. Shaming him further would simply be cruel. He did go off to study for my sake, after all. He went off to to butlering, to buttling, 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 whatever it is. I don't know, right? He said that, but he really went off to take care of a dying aunt who then left him millions and now he's rich and we get to marry him in the true ending. But he wanted to make sure we loved him for him. And we would give up our fortune for him instead of being, instead of like marrying one of these rich bastards that grandpa sends after us, right? And we're like, no, but daddy, I love my butler. I can bring everything around to the little mermaid. I'm just saying. If you're new here, just be prepared. That or Monty Python and the Holy Grail. It's always going to happen. Anyway, uh, you know, because if you haven't seen the little mermaid, daddy, I love him. That comes up all the time. Anyway, so, you know, we'll be like, but Grandpa, I love him. I don't care if he's a butler. I don't care if you cast me out. I will marry him and love him. And then he's like, by the way, I'm a billionaire. And we're like, <gasps> and then happily ever after. Okay, that's what I'm going with. That better fucking happen. If it doesn't, we're just going to rewrite the ending and pretend that happens because I love our butler. Can you every once in a while just put on the suit and the gloves just for role play? Just, okay, cool. <laughs> I have problems. Now that you've returned, I'm going to ask you to work hard to make up for your absence. Am I understood? Of course, Miss Spacey. Seeing to your every need is my duty and my pleasure. See, I'm just saying, come on, stop it. Don't give me that line and think I'm not going to, like, need a fan. I will allow no one, no one to take this privilege from me. Good then. Ugh. I just read it like he was saying it's sexy. He was probably just like, it's my duty to serve you. Oh, God, you better be flirting with me. Stop it! With things mended between us, Kasuga glanced at the time and then picked up my bags. Turning to me, he said, That's nearly time, miss. Shall we be off? Are the cars ready and waiting and awaiting you? Yeah, I think the Irish accent kind of works for him. It's good enough. It's not as good as the Azul Ashengrado voice that I hear in my head that I know he has, which also is maybe a little bit why I like him, too. Okay, I might I might have I might have liked him a little bit before we saw his sprite, and then if his sprite wasn't pretty, I would have been like, oh, I'm disappointed. But like, kind of dig it. Anyway, I followed behind him, walking out of walking out of the gates of the estate. Stopping, I turned to look behind me. The Tojo family estate. In some circles, gaining permission to step across this threshold was a sign of prestige. 
But for me, like, hey, look at his little suit. He's precious. I love it. Oh, it's spicy. I'm coming. Despite being a woman, I was still the family's sole heir. There was no question my family cared for me. I was being raised well as both a daughter of the and the Tojo line's successor. My many servants treated me fondly. It wasn't as if I had no one I could rely on. And yet, inside that mansion, there was only one person I truly regarded as my steadfast ally, Kasuga. He quickly became thus when he was appointed as my butler eight years prior. Are we going to get a flashback where we're like a bitchy little eight-year-old and he's like... <laughs> September 1st, 8 a.m., St. Agnes Academy for Girls. Oh my god, do we get to meet some of our friends? Do we have girlfriends? Have a pleasant day, miss. Thank you. Oh, one more thing, Kasuga. Today's schedule is only opening ceremonies in a short homeroom. I'll be finished sooner than usual. I'm aware, Miss Spacey. Oh, and by the way... Mm, er, never mind. It's nothing important. Today's the beginning of a new semester. Please make sure you stay focused, regardless of what may happen. She's like, um, sus? Uh, we're gonna find out afterward that Grandpa's setting me up with men, so it's fine. What on earth did he mean by that? Does he know? <gasps> Before I could reply, he gave me a gentle push to send me on my way. Confused, I began to walk. Look, Miss Tojo has arrived! Miss Spacey, you look as elegant as always. I can feel everyone's eyes stabbing into me. St. Agnes Academy for Girls was well known as a private school, attended primarily by the well-to-do. It was, in essence, a rich girl's school. Even among all those wealthy students, the Tojo name was still powerful and influential. Influential. I can't read. When others looked my way, I knew they saw not me, but my family. Oh gosh, what should I do? Would it be too forward for me to say hello? I I'm sure it would be alright. Come, let's both offer our greetings together. R right on the count of three, okay? Ready? One, two, three. Why does she sound like a 40-year-old woman? I don't know. Like, I just got out of hand. I don't have that many lady voices either. Good day, Miss Spacey! Good day. <coughs> oh my goodness, she spoke to us! She did. I'm so glad we decided to speak up. This is so exhausting. Oh! -ho -ho! <laughs> She's adorable! Stop it! Okay, I gotta see her personality before we get a voice for her, but anyway. Oh, well, well, Madam Spacey. I see your popularity hasn't waned one bit. Samugi. Of course her name is Samugi. Why is every single blue-haired girl... I know her hair's supposed to be black, but it's got, like, a blue tint to it. But, like, like either a ponytail or pigtails is always this fucking Samugi. And they always got, like, the bang... Like, I swear to God, it's like a thing. I don't know. This is Samugi Kano. She was the first friend I ever made. And before long, she became my most treasured compatriot. Breathing a sigh of relief for the first time that day, I smiled and waved. I love her. She better actually be, like, good friend to us. Okay, I'm just saying, because she's super cute. Good morning. It's been too long. Good morning. And yes, it has. I'm glad to see you're doing well. Have you ever considered waiting, waving for others like you just did for me? I'm sure they'd all die of joy if you tried it. I, I couldn't, so I won't. Oh! You can be adorably shy at times, Speezy, but I love you just the way you are. Anyway, shall we be off to homeroom? Standing around out here will just attract more attention. Why is she so adorable? I love her. I like it when we have female friends in games and they're actually, like, good friends and not, like, you know, oh, that bitch. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes you need that bitch in the game, but, like, you know what I mean? Like, I like us having friends. Like, actual, like, friend mances. Okay. I nodded, and Smokey and I walked into the building. Um, Mukai is the best in Colorex Malice. She's my favorite. Sukuraga was also awesome. All three of us together, those were great characters, but I just like Mukai because she was just... She just had a thing, and then she got very angry, and I just like sometimes being able to do angry. <laughs> like, I don't know why it's fun. I like it when people flip the switch, like, oh, here's my nice voice, but I will fucking stab you! <laughs> I, just, uh, I just love doing it, so that's why it was fun. Anyway, uh, that's right. Smoogie, it isn't much, but I got a souvenir for you. 
Oh, a thoughtful of you. Thank you so much. To be honest, I have a small gift for you as well. I hope you haven't grown bored of these sweets yet. No, this is lovely. Thank you. I don't go to Kyoto very often, and I really like this brand. So tell me, how was your visit home? Did they keep you busy as always? Indeed. A long vacation presented a perfect chance for them to foist even more work on me. It was exhausting, but I'm not exactly in a position to say no. Goodness, I'm sorry. I know you have to... I know you have suffered. Wow, okay. We just started... Okay. Also, if you're new here. Tim is a terrible typist! Every time there's like a really freaking bad issue with typing or translation or whatever, we blame Tim the ta uh, Tim the intern who works for all of the companies. All of them. It doesn't matter who localized the game. Tim did it. Okay? It's always Tim's fault. Tim is the terrible typist, so we're... God damn it, Tim! That's how you know. Anyway, I feel like I should tell you that more because like... I just assume that most people know who Tim is, but anyway. Goodness, I'm sorry. I know you have to suffer through it if you want to attend class here, but it must be so rough. Samuki came from a famous family of Ikebana masters. Flower rangers. Ikebana masters, yeah, okay. Like me, she was an only child. She was already set to be the family's headmistress. Every summer and winter break, she had to return to her family home in Kyoto to undergo training and help with the family business. Oh, I don't mind the work at all. I like flowers, and I accepted long ago that networking is a necessary step for building my future. Hi, I love you. But we're up here. You have to be calm, okay? But it did hurt to leave. Oh, it was agonizing to be unable to visit... Ariake? Hmm. Ariake. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. Sometimes I have to pause with names or places or things or just... Anyway. Uh, to be unable to visit Ariake in both summer and winter... It's what I live for, but alas, I'm kept away. It's what I live for. To help unfortunate mer merfolk like yourself. You'd think I'd have watched The Little Mermaid recently, but I'm pretty sure it's been like 700 years. I'm pretty sure I haven't watched it since I was a child, and yet I know all the lines. I told you, it always, everything, you can't stop it. The game <laughs> always comes back. I let my eyes slide away from Samuki. She's such a normal girl. Except for that hobby of hers. I won't say what it is, but I will say that her uh, unusual pastime has put me in more than one awkward situation. Um, you need to tell me what this awkward thing is. Oh my god, she's into like fucking BDSM or some shit, isn't she? We're good friends. Excellent friends. That said, there are some lines you just don't cross. Oh, she's into some kind of weird kink. I like it. Oh dear, it's almost time for class to begin. Let's meet up and chat later. Y yes, let's. Please don't let her bring up her hobby. Please let her bring up her hobby. Hoping against hope that I'd be able to avoid that uncomfortable topic a little longer. I took my seat. Her hobby is probably dating boys. <laughs> She's like, I like to go talk to boys. And we're like, oh, that's awkward. I can't wait to know what her hobby is. September 1st, 11 a.m. St. Agnes Academy for Girls. Hmm. It seems noisier than usual. You see, Spacey, since it's our first day back, why don't we eat lunch together? Hmm? Oh, yes, that sounds lovely. Uh, for now, why are people crowding around the front gates? Oh my, you're right. I wonder if something happened. Come on, hurry up! This is going to be incredible! I just know it! Walk faster! Jeez, would you stop pulling already? What on earth is going on? There are four super hot guys hanging around the front gates. Now just one. Four! Imagine! Oh, dear God. Seriously, it's starting while we're at school? <laughs> thought they were going to wait till we got home! Oh, God! <laughs> you knew, though. You had to know. Oh, maybe they're here to see someone home. Or maybe something's being filmed nearby. I don't know, but I want to find out. Hurry! We may still be able to take some selfies with them! Hmm. Everyone seems extremely curious about the these supposed gentlemen. Want to go and see what all the fuss is about? Ugh. Are you seriously asking me that? Now, if we're going to stop and have a bit of lunch, I must let Kasuga know. Ugh! They sound like overexcited orangutans. <laughs> I have no idea who these hot guys- I like how it's hot. Not hot. Hout. H-A-W-T. Hout. <laughs> these hout guys are- <laughs> uh, But I wish they would finish their business and disperse. I'm trying to leave and they're in- my way! Oh yeah, this is awesome. Maybe I should call Kasuga and just have him bring the car to the back gate instead. 
I was taking my phone out of my pocket to do exactly that when it happened. I don't know who's saying, ah, could that be her? Yep, that's her for sure. Huh, I'm starting to feel a little nervous. Everything's ready. Come on, let's go say hello to our princess. I don't know who's who, so whatever. Er, Specie? Those gentlemen are walking straight towards us. Huh? Samugi urgently tapped my shoulder. I looked up from my phone to see... Oh, I can't wait for this. <laughs> Miss Spacey Tojo! I don't know which one. I'm assuming... Oh, okay, that's supposed to be... Okay, Ichia. And Mystery Man B is Taiga, so... Well, sorry, this is so out of nowhere. Oh, we have to figure out voices for them, so I'm just gonna just read it normal for right now. <gasps> I love Shion. He's actually my favorite. Ichia's, like, I think my second favorite. Um... Cause he, but he's like, he's like the poster boy and it's like, you're pretty. And then there are times where I'm like, I don't know. And then there's other ones where I'm like, God, you're hot. But Shion just got me from the very beginning. So he's in, out of our group of boys, he's my favorite. And it doesn't matter how great the other ones are in their routes. He's always going to be my favorite just because for me, if you're new here, if you're not, you know this. Usually when I look at the cover or the cards, the first one, I'm like, you, that my eyes are drawn to, that's it. We're done. Doesn't matter if they're an asshole. I'm like, you, I love you. You're an asshole. You locked me in a cage. I don't care. I'm here for it. You know what I'm just saying? It's it's the eyeball attraction. The only thing I will say about Shion that's a negative, the only thing on the looks is why does he have jellyfish hair? What is with the jellyfish hair? Stop it, Japan. Stop. Stop with the jellyfish hair. Ichika had it in freaking Color X Melos where it's like a short all the way around and then there's just this underneath hair that's just long and like fucking noodles. And then she looks like a jellyfish. And that's what he's got going on. And I was like, oh. <laughs> it's the only thing I don't like. But we can just ignore the jellyfish tentacles. And the rest of him's fine. So Anyway, if we could cut right to the chase. Ready? Sit? I know his voice. He's got the lolly boy voice. He's got the lolly boy voice because he's the lolly boy. So. Please marry me. I'm going to guess. Is this actually count as a CG? I don't know. Let's see. Some games are really good about you, you can tell when it's a CG and other ones like this. You're like, I'm going to guess that's supposed to be a CG with all with their pretty roses. Uh, but like, it's funny. <laughs> so anyway, I guess it counts as one. I would say it does. Some of them just blend in so well, but what? Oh, I love the sparkles. Oh my God. Seriously? They proposed her. To, to Miss Tojo? Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Speezy, what on earth is this? Samugi was tugging on my sleeve, babbling something. I hardly noticed she was there. I was too stunned. Four roses shoved directly in my face. Four pairs of expectant eyes searing into me. The growing crowd of spectators chattering and blushing at the sudden spectacle. Everyone was waiting for me to respond. <laughs> Actually, you know what's interesting? Taiga's got, like, pink hair and, like, yellow eyes. And then Shion's, like, blonde hair. And his eyes look, like, pinky-purple color right now. It's, like, they're reverse colors. Hmm. Ignore them. Insist they have the wrong person. Call for Kazuka. Call for Kazuka! Next! How many choices are there? Take the red rose, the yellow rose, the white rose, the orange rose. Okay, so the... Oh, that's interesting. The roses, I'm assuming... So I wonder... Then if you, when you go down each route, like if you go down Nayuta's route, right, you're going to take the orange rose because he's got the orange one. I mean, it did say we have to create a save file here. So we're going to save our first save. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm curious because I'm just, I want to look at something. So I'm going to cheat a little. I'm going to go to the guide and I want to see Nayuta's route, right? New game. Time to choose. Wait, from common route. Time to choose. Make a decision. Oh. Choose to skip common route until the chapter time to choose. Oh, that's interesting. So what happens if you... So you don't... What's the point of the choice here, then? What's the point of the choice? <laughs> if it doesn't make a difference. Uh, anyway. We ignore them. Kasuga! <laughs> Come, Samugi. Let's be on our way. Huh? But... but 
see, he's a, see, you can see, like, he's got the bitch face, like, the pretty bitch face. But he's, like, got that cool, cool guy bitch face, but, like, I don't have a voice for that. Well, maybe this will work. Because, like, I can't do the bro dude voice, because that's, like, not him. It's like, He's got to be, like, cooler and whatever. So, well, uh, but, like, I, that's not really that great of a voice. But I, he definitely doesn't have that. That's too much. You know what I mean? Could you imagine? I kind of want to do that for him because it doesn't work at all. Anyway. Um, and Ichia doesn't seem like he would have like the the deep ang the deep voice that I do like this, but that's the best voice I have for him. Nayuta we got. And then like Shion, he's the soft, sensitive one, so he can have that kind of voice. It'll be fine. But like Taiga's like really fucking difficult because I know the voice he needs, but I'll have that in my soul. Like, I mean, I've got it in my brain, but it just won't come out of my voice. Even though when they come out, well, the way I hear them always sounds totally different than the way you do. But anyway. I'm going to I'm gonna try and try to work out his voice the way I think. Like, whoa, she totally ignored our existence. That kind of works, I guess. I tried to escape. It's Spacey, wait! But the man quickly dashed in front of me. Oh, he's beat. Whoa, easy. How about we take a second breathe, babe? Oh, and just so you're clear... This is reality. Reality? His flippant tone hit me like a splash of cold water. Like, he is pretty, but there's something about him that I'm just like, no. I, it's like, with Taiga, it's like, you are beautiful, but there's something about the bitch face that I'm just not, I'm not vibing with. Which is unfortunate, because, like, in all logicality, you're like, you are drawn so pretty, but I'm just not here for it. I don't know. It's not that I don't like him, but it's just, I want to be more, attra I want to be like, God, you're hot. As opposed to like, well, like, you're pretty, but not interested. <laughs> you're pretty, but it's not doing anything for me. Where, like, you see Shion and you're like, you are so pretty, stop. Or Kasuga, right? <laughs> he does everything for me. I don't know why. Now is not the time to panic. I was dealing with un, dealing with the un, oh, I was dealing with unknown and very forward strangers. No, that was right. That's not Tim's fault. That's my fault. I needed to collect my dignity and deal with them firmly. Who are you, gentlemen, exactly? Like, <laughs> Shion looks like a drag queen right here, and I'm here for it. Like, he is way too pretty. Yeah, Ichi is really pretty, too. Like, sometimes I'm like, no. I'm like, sometimes I'm like, no, you just, there's something about him that I'm like, eh. And then other times you're like, yes. So, like, I'm not sure. That's why he's got to be second. Well, technically, I guess you're two and a half because Shion might be two considering Kasuga's number one in my heart already. I love our butler. Okay. <laughs> I think Shion and Kasuga tie for the top, but. Huh? How do you know my name? And what was the purpose of that, that tasteless prank a moment ago? Uh, Ichio was... A, right? Yeah, Taiga's B, Shion C, and what's his name is D. Okay, I think. Anyway. Wait, please, where only students and faculty are allowed on this campus. Do you have permission to be here? Huh? Um, w well, we, uh... uh... Calm down. Let's take things one at a time, shall we? Right, let's start with introductions. I'm... Well, that will not be necessary. Yeah, I knew it was our boyfriend. Kasuga! Oh, I see this incident has unnerved you more than it was anticipated, miss. And this is precisely why I was against this entire idea. Kasuga? What do you mean by that? Who are these gentlemen? Everything will be alright, Miss Spacey. First, let's take our leave of this place. The commotion has drawn far too much attention. I love him so much. He cares about us. These asshats just come in and make a scene! And Kasuga's the only one who cares and it's stressing me out! <laughs> I'm gonna be fawning over the butler the whole time. Jesus. Kasuga drew me to his side and began to walk. We hadn't taken two steps before one of the gentlemen spoke up. Look, I'm just saying. The interaction we have in the beginning within this, I mean, I know he's a butler, but you can't tell me that there's something just like a little sexy going on here. That like, if we get to the end and we don't like marry him and he's not the true, true route. I mean, I'm going to be ragingly disappointed because they've set this up perfectly where you're like, um, are we flirting with our butler? My like, for anyone that played this already, 
Well, did you get that vibe? Were you like, oh, okay, he's our butler? Or were you like, he's our butler? <laughs> wink, wink, nudge, nudge. You know what I mean? Did you also feel like we're flirty with him and we're kind of in love with him a little and he might be in love with him? Like, did, am I the only one just, 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 am I making up these vibes? I mean, I could be. I don't know, but anyway. Yo, Kasuga, the heck are we supposed to do now? That kind of works. We'll go to the car that brought you here and return for now. I'll inform you later of what'll happen next. Hmm, does he know them? Come, Miss Spacey, go this way, please. His hand on my back was firm, and his tone brooked no defiance. I twisted around to look behind me. Samugi, I'll see you tomorrow! Y yeah, tomorrow, I hope everything turns out well. I barely grabbed a moment to say goodbye to Samugi before Kasuga led me to the waiting car and helped me inside. He's my fucking knight in shining armor saving me from these trolls. <laughs> these beautiful, sexy men. But still. September 1st, 1pm, Tojo Family Estate. An oppressive silence filled the car. No matter how many questions I asked, Kasuga simply said that he would explain later and refused to say another word. For some odd reason, he seemed even more put off about the sudden courtship rush than I was. It was frightening. Well, Miss Spacey. Uh, y yes? My profound apologies, but may I request that you please proceed straight to the main house. The main house? Why are you for? The master's awaiting you. He looks so unhappy about this. The look in his eyes is like... Actually, he kind of looks like... I will fucking cut you. <laughs> But it's an unhappy face. He is over this bullshit. My personal residence was a smaller home located on the estate. I rarely ever visited the maid house. We have our own house. Are you sure we're 17? Though we technically lived in the same place, I hadn't seen Grandfather in quite some time. He still had firmly to his post as the head of the family, despite his age. His days were very full. But more than that, what is that meddling old coot plotting this time? <laughs> he and I simply did not see eye to eye. Ever. I like kind of the fact that we are not submissive and like, oh, okay, yes, we will do this. Oh, whatever. We're like, ugh, this bitch. Like, you'd think we are young. So, but, so like, I get that there's almost like the teenage angst where you're like, whatever, I'll do what I want. Whatever, you can tell me what to do, mom. But, like, but then there's also, like, she's, you respect your fucking elders and you'd think... The way they always have MCs in games, she'd be like, yes, whatever you say. Okay, I will marry you. Who did you have? Okay, I will do that. And like, you know what I mean? Where they're just way too obedient. So I kind of like the fact that she's just like, ugh. <laughs> Slightly a snarky bitch. Which you expect teenagers to be, but also like, there never are in these games. They're always just like, very well behaved and perfect. And like, I like that we like, nah, gramps, fuck this shit. Which is exactly what's going to happen here, so. Spacey, it's been a while. I see your eyes haven't lost their cheeky glint. Yes, it has been a while, Grandfather. I notice you still look like a, look like a scheming villain. I'm utterly shocked you ch shocked children don't scream and run at the sight of you. Ha! Like you did once upon a time? That's not really a Grandpa voice. I didn't do it well, but anyway. Indeed, I like to think tolerating you has done much to improve my fortitude. Nervous and sarcasm. Oh, nervousness and sarcasm are wearing were wearingly familiar feelings that always accompanied an audience with Grandfather. That was a sentence. I don't know why I can read that one. I couldn't afford to lose my focus for an instant. I stiffened my posture and took a deep breath, steeling myself as if for mortal combat. Well, Grandfather, what grand reason do you have for summoning me here today? What? You haven't guessed? Slow as usual, girl. Tell me, what did you... What did you think of the four boys I chose as your potential bridegrooms? Boys? They're men, by the way. One of them's, like, ten years older than me. Stop it. Excuse me? Were any of them to your liking? I think all of them are quite handsome. No. Choose whichever of them strikes your fancy. Uh, my butler. Wait, Grandfather! You can't possibly be referring to those creepy, rose-pushing strangers from earlier. Strangers? Pah! Each of them's more worthy of being your bridegroom. I know, because I selected each of them personally. I blinked, thinking that this must be what it felt like when something was truly jaw-dropping. But I was only frozen with shock for a moment. Rage soon thawed the ice inside my body before it rushed out in a torrent of vitriol aimed at the vulture before me. What? 
on earth are you on about? Bridegrooms that you chose for me? Who asked you to dig them up and drag them over to me? Because I certainly did not ask. Ho oh ho! I suspect you're unhappy with my choices. What about them do you not find satisfactory? Everything! Nah, don't whine like a toddler. Give me real concrete reasons, girl. His dismissive attitude fanned my rage, but I reined in my fury with a deep breath. I am going to be an independent woman. I must stay calm. I must be reasonable. I can't let Grandfather control this conversation. I'm in love with Kasuga. First and foremost, I have no need of a bridegroom. I thought that as heir to this bloodline, you knew that you have a duty to one day marry and raise a family. Am I somehow mistaken? I'm 17, dude. What the fuck? It's not 1906. No, I know that, and I accept it. However, it's much too soon to think about marriage. I'm still a high school student. Okay, I mean that, you know, now with this, it's like, this is bullshit. I'm 17. All right. I find it creepy that we're 17 and we're going to marry these dudes, but at the same time, now... This little bit kind of makes a little more sense. You're like, I can't okay, see where you were doing. You were like, this is fucking absurd. As opposed to if we were 25, they're like, girl, TikTok. And you're like, everybody seems to just think my fuck, your fucking business is in my uterus. Get out of here, you know? But like, then you, you wouldn't be like, I am far too young. You're like, I mean, you're 25. That's like, you could be too young. You could be too, yeah, you know, that's fine. 17 is like, whoa, bag it up. What the fuck? You know? All right, all right, all right. Okay, okay. I still don't like it, but I see what you're doing here, and okay, I understand it. It's never too soon. There are many families out there who betrothed their heirs at even earlier ages. Indeed, isn't that the case for your friend, Miss Samugi? I hear she already has a fiancé. Well, I am not Samugi. I felt a cold bead of sweat trickle down my spine. It was dirty of him to use Samugi against me. Is that so? Ah, oh, well... What else do you find unsatisfactory about the bridegrooms I've chosen for you? I picked a voice that was really hard to do if he's going to talk a lot. I have a right to choose my own husband, and I choose my butler. <laughs> so go ahead and choose. There are four options. How do you expect me to choose between four men who are utter strangers to me? No one said you need to make the choice today. First, establish a relationship with each of them. When you've picked apart and studied each one, select your husband. I mean, that's kind of smart. Why must it be one of those four? Why shouldn't it be one of them? I'm just going to argue in circles with Grandma here. Because I do not believe people who would barge into a private campus and propose in such an obnoxious manner could come from intelligent, sensible stock. <laughs> I kind of like how we're starting this. No, oh, that's done. I suggested they do it. After all, if I tried anything more subtle, you'd simply dodge the issue as long as I permitted you to ignore it. Grandfather! You keep wriggling out of your familial duty. You've rejected multiple requests for marriage interviews and whined about how it's all too sudden and too soon. I'm 17! Each candidate was of good character and station, yet you rejected every single one before even looking at their photographs. Well, uh... I did check with you beforehand, Grandfather. I asked if the interviews were mandatory. You told me that I was free to make my own choices. So you did, and I do recall giving you permission to decide. I presume that you had good reason for rejecting them. Of course I did. They're men and I'm a lesbian. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, I'm not a lesbian. I'm in love with my butler. <laughs> oh, and what reason was that? Something other than it being too soon? Or will it be the usual stale excuse? I've been trying to say I want to look... You want to find a husband on your own? Ha! Don't make me laugh, girl. What makes you think you're even remotely qualified to choose your own bridegroom? Um, excuse me? The fuck? I am perfectly capable of choosing my own husband, thank you! Douchey, sexist asshole. <laughs> what? what? What do you mean by that? You attend an all-female academy. Your only friend is a girl. You barely show your face at social engagements, and you ignore any man who talks to you. Did you think that maybe it's because I'm a lesbian? Because I kind of feel like maybe we're a lesbian. Or in love with our butler. I'm going with in love with our butler, but, like, could also be a lesbian. You don't know. How would such a naive, inexperienced child have a chance of finding an appropriate husband? Okay, you just called me a naive, inexperienced child, but you're also trying to marry me off. Do you not see how disgusting that sounds? I'm just saying, Gramps. Get the fuck out. Go on and find one if you think you can do better than me. 
I can. I have one right outside. It's my butler. <laughs> Come on. Go indulgent. Oh, what do you youngsters call them? Mixer parties? Find a husband in the rabble. I would never stoop to anything that crass. Then how do you hope to succeed? The only man you know is Kasuga. It's a little different to find the right opportunity when you deliberately avoid them all. The only man I know is Kasuga, and that's the only one I need. Hi, exactly. S still, it's far too early. I have plenty of time to think about the matter after high school. What, you plan to give yourself a makeover and debut as a brand new woman in college? <laughs> Don't bother. You can never pull it off. We need to stab our grandfather, I think. Oh, I wasn't even aware you knew the meaning of the word makeover. Huh. That's not what I intended anyway. We're like over time technically, but like, we'll get the scene. Then what do you intend to do exactly? Magically develop expertise in matters you know nothing about? Or are you... Haha, <laughs> that's your plan, isn't it? You are waiting for your Prince Charming who will suddenly appear and sweep you off your feet. That's an awfully girlish dream for someone with your looks. Excuse me? What do my looks have to do with anything? Ho ho ho! Spacey, a word of advice. Don't attempt to dodge reality forever. It never works and only leads to pain in the end. Understood? Are you trying to say a prince is never going to come sweep me off my feet because I'm not pretty enough? Because, like, we're super fucking pretty. And, like, normally I complain about MCs with their giant derpy fucking saucer eyes. But, like, her eyes are, like, you know, giant eyes. Because the girls always have to have gianter eyes than the boys, right? Uh, But, like, they fit on her face and they look good and I like what they've done. She's pretty. Okay. Now, like, she's really pretty, but, like, sometimes she she might still sometimes look stupid in CGs. We don't know. But, like, her sprites are really cute. Like, she's pretty, so don't, like, give me that bullshit. Because if I looked like fucking Chizuru from Hakuoki, yeah, I'd be agreeing with you. Yeah, because I look derpy as fuck. I look like a potato whose face is melting off because my eyes are literally the insides of my entire head. So, like, fight me. But, like... This one, no, we are, we are cute, so I don't, I don't want to hear it, and our butler loves me, that's all that matters. Jesus. I felt a vein in my temple start to throb as I listened to his advice. I want to slap him right in his sneering face. I like how we're going to get a little angsty, it sounds fun. I am not so hopelessly romantic that I'd wait for a prince, and I am not trying to dodge reality. I simply do not wish to marry anyone that you've recommended, grandfather. I can't believe that any of them would be decent people. Oh? Then will you accept a marriage interview? Uh, that's another subject entirely. So it's off to parties, or will you simply hit on whomever? Why would I do any such thing? You only have so much time, Spacey. Okay, let's not start this bullshit. Yes, you are the heir to the Tojo family, but not everyone will be impressed by that title. There are many factors to consider. Family, wealth, ability... The higher you aim, the more quickly the list of viable candidates will shrink. And of course, you won't be the only one after the best men. Many competitors are looking for husbands, too. Don't fool yourself into thinking you have all the time in the world. While you hide from reality, the best choices will find their matches one by one. She's like, I mean, maybe, but like... Yeah, well, I'll just wait for his first wife to die and marry him after. <laughs> I balled my hands in my lap. I didn't like to admit it, but Grandfather was right. I wasn't so stubborn that I'd refuse to acknowledge that. I mean, it does get harder the older you get, so. But 17 is a little bit too young. Act while you still have choices to make. If you can't do that, then accept others' choices for you. That's what I want you to learn. If you don't wish to accept the men that I've selected for you, then hurry up and find one that fits whatever criteria you have. Uh, my butler. If you can, that is. I will kill you and marry my father. And with that, Grandfather stood to leave. Grandfather! Ugh, what a tyrant! My lips twisted into a frustrated frown. I thought I'd steeled myself for this inevitable day, but I suppose deep down, a part of me still resisted. Grandfather must have noticed, even when I hadn't. What am I supposed to do? As your audience concluded, Kasuga... Ah, oh, there's my prince. <laughs> Please pardon the intrusion, miss. I saw that the master I saw the master leave, so I presumed. And may I have a moment of your time? Seeing Kasuga's familiar face, a face I trusted more than anyone's, 
caused the tension to lift from my shoulders. See, it's not just like, I mean, I like the fact that it's like, oh, I trust him and he's my like confidant and like whatever. But it's like, you're also in love with him. Come on. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm going back to my rooms. I'm afraid you mayn't, miss. What do you mean? Is something else on my schedule? Oh, miss Spacey, I must inform you that as of today, you no longer have rooms on the Tojo family estate. A vacation home's been prepared for your use. I'll show you there now. Suffering another major shock so soon after the first left me without the energy to speak. All I could do was stare up at Kasuga in helpless surprise. I mean... Because Grandfather arranged it, obviously. Like, we're going to kick you out. You're going to go stay there with all these dudes. And, like, I like this. But, uh, you know. Anyway, we're going to stop here because it's over time. But it wasn't a good place to stop, so. Um, anyway. Uh, I'm enjoying this. This is going to be fun. I love our butler. Shion is, like, my top choice in the boyfriend department of the men that we're going to marry. Um, though I do like Ichia. I do think he's pretty. He's attractive. Sometimes I'm like... You kind there's uh, there's something about him sometimes where you're like no nah, you kind of look like a douche, <laughs> like you know what I mean where you're like no, but then other times you're like yes so like that's why he's like second you know what I mean, I think he'll grow on me. Uh, Taiga's hot but like in a bitchy way that I'm just not like I don't vibe with but he's still attractive but like I don't know we'll see what his route's gonna be like but uh so it's gonna be interesting because we get to go down. Mayuta, who's the lolly boy? And like, I'm not into the lolly boys. I never am. It's never gonna, never gonna happen. So he's the le the bottom of the barrel because not a fan of lolly boys. So it's nice that we get to do his route first to get it out of the way. And then we go to best boy, Shion. And then we go to Taiga, who's like, I mean, you're attractive, but like, I don't know how I feel about you. So we'll see what your route's like. Like, eh, you know, and then we go to Ichia. He's like, okay. I don't like that we do Shion like earlier. I want to do him later just because I love him. He's my favorite. But then the true route, I'm really still crossing my fingers and hoping that it's fucking Kazuga, because then I'll be happy. But anyway, we'll uh, get into Boyfriend Zone in the next part uh, and, and really get into it. So anyway, I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.